the weight regulating mechanism is always in balance because the point of storing fat and fuel is that you have it available for when you need it because your cells are going to need it, you need to move around, which is why people find a lot of times when they exercise and they increase their activity, this is just homeostasis. So exercise is a stress. Uh, that doesn't mean it's bad for you, it's good for you, but it's still a stress because it tends to drive you out of homeostasis. And what it does is it says you're burning more fuel, you're going to need more energy, so it then activates hunger. So a lot of times when people start exercising really hard at the beginning of a weight loss regimen, then they might get really excited about the weight that they're losing and they can stick to it in the beginning, but soon they're going to find that their body is trying all the time to adjust to these exercise demands on the body by increasing your appetite. So we see this all the time, like all the, uh, you know, you might have like an aerobics class where then everybody goes and goes to Starbucks afterwards and drinks and eats away all the calories that they burned off while they were exercising and a few more. So it's all undone. Th this is just homeostasis. We are stuck right now in fat accumulating mode, but it's also hormonally determined and weight regulating mechanism to be in fat burning mode. But what we have to do is we have to release fat so that it's available to be burned. And that's under hormonal or homeostatic control. That's also part of your weight regulating mechanism. And the main hormone that's in charge of that is called insulin. So when we eat a lot of carbohydrates and we eat really frequently, we're keeping insulin in our system all the time. And insulin is a fat storage hormone. So we need to change certain things in our behavior so that insulin, which is really important, it goes up, but that it also comes back down again because it's only when insulin drops back down that we can get, we can release fat so it's available to be burned. Because what happens is if you're in fat storage mode, which means your insulin is, preg is present, then your fat stores are kind of locked down. The, the brain is just going to be cued for you to go out and get calories somewhere else. So you can resist that urge, but it's going to cause you to have food preoccupation and a lot of hunger. So you can say, oh, I want to eat so badly. I'm starving. I'm on a diet. And that's because the fat on your body isn't being released to be burned. To, to have that happen, you have to use the weight regulating mechanism to your advantage which is how it would occur in the environment, which is that fat will be available to be burned when food becomes uh, less available. Now, what happens to people when they start losing weight on a diet is they often restrict how much they're eating, how often they're eating their carbohydrates, so their insulin does drop down, but it's just a side effect and it's causing a lot of other problems. Direct your attention towards getting a lot of bang for your buck by just making sure that insulin doesn't ever get really high and it also drops down to nothing. And that means you have to have food-free intervals, you have to have a period of time, no snacking, and you need to really watch your carbohydrate intake when you're wanting to release weight to be burned. So when you're in maintenance and you're balanced out, then everybody has sort of uh, different carbohydrate tolerances. We all uh, evolved or into as humans, but we adapted to certain environments and we survived these times of famine. So we have these thrifty genes, they sometimes call them, which means some people are, are going to find it much easier to put on fat and hold on to it than others. So for example, naturally, Almost any woman will have this easier than a man because they need to have that fat store for their fertility. But in areas where food would have been more scarce, there's a tendency to put on weight a lot easier and hold on to it. So what those people tend to have is a built-in insulin resistance. So their cells are going to help keep them, help keep them in fat storage mode, fat accumulating mode, and not release fat to be burned because they wouldn't have survived in that environment. So uh, we're getting our genes all mixed up again where there's this new gene pool. And we now need to talk about something called epigenetics, which is 
how our lifestyle and our environment affect our genes right now. So that's all this new and interesting stuff. But basically, the bottom line is if you want to change your body shape so that you have less fat, the main way we go about this is to use our weight regulating mechanism to get out of fat storage mode. That fat storage mode means the stored fat in our body will be available to be used as fuel. It can go back to doing its job. That's what fat is for. It's a stored form of fuel for the future when less food is available. So obviously we would have slept at night. That's a food free interval. So we need to have this period of time where we don't eat. And during that time when we're asleep, that's when, if your hormones are right, your body is burning fuel because you're not eating. If you're eating all the time, you're signaling your body to store fat now because you're going to need it in the future. So to lose weight, which is what people mean, is they want their body to have less fat stores, less amount of adipose tissue, less fat. You have to change your hormonal status so fat can be released, then fat can be burned. Burned just in running your cells, uh, moving your body normally, and you can exercise too. But we tend to think of burning fat as being putting exercise on top of it, and that's really not the priority as far as how our body is running. So your body will quickly start making you feel like you have less energy, um, you get in more shutdown mode. And that's gonna vary from individual to individual. I'm not saying exercise is bad. Exercise is really good, but let's get our hormones right so exercise can be effective. And to do that, you have to understand the weight regulating mechanism.